Hello again everyone! Today I'm going to show you how you can become Mrs. Universe with a freaking extraordinary galaxy eye and lip makeup. The trick to this look is tape. To create the eyeliner in the easiest way possible you will need two pieces of tape for each eye. Place the first one to your upper inner corner and point it towards your brow end. The second one should start at your lower outer corner and also point towards your brow end. Make sure they connect to achieve a sharp winged eyeliner. Next I'm filling in the gap using a metallic blue cream eyeshadow for my base. Then set the base with some dark and some lighter metallic blue eyeshadow. Let's get freaking messy! I grab an extremely messed up bristle or toothbrush and some blue, purple and pink face paint colors. Then activate the paint with a lot of water and sprinkle those colors onto your eye like there's no morning. Start with dark colors and then apply the lighter ones to make your design pop. To imitate the stars in your galaxy, grab some white paint and repeat the process. One step and the gigantic mess turns into something beautiful. Credit goes to the tape. <laughs> Clean up the rest of your face and paint small stars to your eyeliner to add more detail. And of course we need a sparkly galaxy so go ahead and add that silver holographic glitter man. To achieve a very clean and fierce look, clean up the edges of your liner and eyebrow using some concealer. Then apply blue eyeshadow beneath your lower lash line as well as fake lashes and some glitter to your inner corner. Lastly apply white eyeliner to your waterline to make them eyes pop. To achieve a vibrant defined lip color, neutralize your natural lip color by putting concealer on top of it and setting it with powder. Then I mix the pink and a blue lipstick together to get a nice purple shade. I did a bit of an ombre look by going lighter as I came further to the end of my lower lip. To enhance the ombre effect, I lined my upper lip with the dark blue eyeshadow we used before and blended it in. Now this would be the moment to apply a clear gloss, but I forgot to and had to struggle with putting it on later. Now I decided not to sprinkle the color on because you cannot really tape your lip shape and you will just get a big big mess. So I tried to stipple it on and when your brush is really messed up it actually works. So same principle, dark colors first and then lighter ones. And of course our lip needs some sparkle as well, so grab that glitter again man. And we are done! Like always, I really hope you've enjoyed watching and if you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Goodbye!